that he could be given and Bonga form. But Sia Bonga could Matutegas Gasoshas, Sia Bonga. I'm now going to call upon uh, Mr. Ntantra Kwabe to give a tribute on behalf of the golfing community. In the name of Jesus, amen. Judge KK, as we would normally call him, uh, was a founding member of our golf social club referred to as the DCC School. We formed the school in 2016 and I was appointed the captain of the school for life. Judge KK ensured that the members of the school were frequently reminded that the captain of the school is an absolute monarch, meaning that I am the captain for life and that my word is final. This tribute represents the sentiments of a number of golfers who have interacted with Judge KK within and outside our school. I would like to highlight a few qualities that consistently stood out during our time with Judge KK. Okala, he loved and cared for Umisi Simtian. Uma Kumete. I had the privilege of driving with uh, Judge KK in the same car several times when we were going to play golf outside of Durban. I remember in, twen uh, in November 2019 when we were traveling to Swaziland for our golf annual golf championship, Judge KK was frequently on the phone to check how Mrs. Mtiana was doing. In another incident, on one Saturday morning, we were playing at the Beachwood Country Club. A call came through informing him that Mrs. Mtiana needed some attention. He immediately abandoned the game without any delay to attend to his wife. Sometimes I would call him to check if he was available to play golf he would always check if there was someone to look after Uma Kumete before committing himself. That's how much he loved his wife. He loved his children. When he turned 75 years old in 2019, we organized a golf day in his honor. This was the first of its kind for our school. Members of our school got the opportunity to meet Ujash KK's wife and the children. Last year, we held our annual golf championship at Sun City. Josh KK invited his daughter, Zama, and son-in-law, Tando, to join us at our closing dinner. It was at this dinner that he made his final speech to the school. Again, he, he reminded the members of the school that the captain is an absolute monarch. <laughs> he showed respect and humility. Josh KK did not parade his achievements or title as a judge in order to be respected. Instead, it was his respect for others that earned him respect from them. It did not matter what your level of status was, young or old, educated or uneducated, rich or poor, Judge KK respected all of us equally. There were times when he would call me and express his view on some of the issues we were dealing with as a golf school. I would express a different view. Not once did he throw his weight around, but would relent and accept my view as his captain. Judge KK was generous and very supportive of our school. He always contributed additional prizes for these competitions. Two years ago, when we played our 36 holes competition for the first time, Judge KK offered to host the prize giving at his house. We spent the entire evening with him and his family until midnight, notwithstanding that Uma Kumete was not feeling well. In December, I organized the golf day at, at, aiming at uh, 
um, supporting an organization that helps people who are affected by gender-based violence. Josh KK was the first person to purchase a football. He was later advised by his doctor that he would need to go through or for a minor medical procedure a few days before the golf day. This meant that there was a chance that he would not be able to play. He called me in his polite tone and manner and informed me of this situation and proceeded to say, Captain, don't worry about my donation. I'll find someone else to replace me. This is the kind of generosity that Josh K. Kim demonstrated. He was full of fun. I would always look forward to playing in his football. Um, he was good at telling stories. He will tell a story and you'll feel like you were part of the event or incident when it happened. In conclusion, one of our fellow golfers described JK, Josh KK as a role model of good behavior. Indeed he was. We have learned more from his actions than his words. Josh KK was not just a fellow golfer. He was a father, mentor, advisor, leader, and a friend to us. He, we loved Josh KK and he loved us too. He will remain in our, heart, in our hearts for a long time to come. And to the family, the Bible says in Isaiah 40, verse 31, but those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kwabe. Uh, may I now call upon Ms. Mangaliso Lutuli, who will pay tribute on behalf of the grandchildren. And in the meantime, uh, the orchestra will be next if they could get ready. Uh, yes. I welcome you all in the wonderful name of our Savior Jesus Christ. Ndalo Lutuli's message reads, To the man that changed my life forever, we bid you farewell today. What you have done in my life is monumental. The impact you have made in my life, I can't truly justify with words. It is much deeper. You have been around me my entire life, from birth till our last moments together. Growing up with you in, in this life has been more than an honor. I had the privilege of learning from you in all areas of life. The memories we have created are truly unforgettable, from bantering back and forth about Arsenal to dinners in Joburg, and all the times at your house. What I remember so deeply is how you helped my family and I through one of the hardest times. You immediately reached out and helped us in despite of everything in despite of all the responsibility which you already have. You always made time to help my family and that I will forever cherish. And I really do hope to emulate what you have done in your lifetime. I will miss you Mkulu. I will always treasure you in my heart. I love you. Letu Tandum Tiani's message reads, my grandfather was without a doubt a huge role model in my life. He was a husband, a father and a grandfather. Throughout my life, he's done everything for me and been an example of a good gentleman and most importantly, a good husband. I remember day and night, he would do everything for his wife. Even while she was sick, he would stop at nothing to take good care of her, which shows how he would stick to his vows. As it says, even death, until death do us part. And now, as having to take over as responsibility for man of the house, I hope everything I do will make him proud. 
Kulu, I just want to say thank you so much for everything. Had it not been for you, I probably wouldn't be where I am or the person I am today. I hope that for the rest of my life, I get to be an example of you and be the man you want me to be, as well as taking care of everyone. So I won't say goodbye, but instead, until we meet again. May you and Coco enjoy the rest of your life in peace together. Malbongo Mkosi's message reads, you were such an inspiration, not just to me, but I'm sure for everybody you've spoken to. You and Coco were in 